Hey, what is going on everyone? Thank you for stopping by to watch another episode here at All I See Is W, where we talk about finance and self-development. Well, today I wanted to create this video to share with you value add stock plays that I feel can add so much value to your investment portfolio. But before I begin though, I'd like to inform you that anytime when you do consider investing in the stock market, please make sure to always do your research as well and take my information as guidance to your strategic investment strategy. Let's get started. Now the first ticker I wanted to share with you is Afria by the ticker APHA. This is a Canadian based company where not only are they selling products within Canada, but they are also exporting a large amount of dried products in the European market as well as in the United States. And when you look at their data year over year, the number of exports in terms of pounds continues to grow. So that's a really good sign for this company. And what we know is that it focuses on delivering high quality products and that's why there will be a continued demand for products coming out from Afria. And from a share price standpoint, I was recommending this ticker at $4 back when it was in the November time frame. It was around the $4 and now it's gone up by twofold. However, I do feel like it's in a bull run state right now and it could potentially reach up to $20 very soon. So let's not lose sight of what Afria can do for you. Next ticker I want to pivot over to is iBio by the ticker IBIO. This is a Texas-based biotechnology company that leverages plant-based processes using its fast farm technology led by the CEO Tom Isett, who previously came from GE Healthcare, a very large company where he's gained experience and he's also assembled a team to develop its finance and clinical program pulling people from large-scale companies as well. So that's why I feel like iBio will take off very soon. And from a share price standpoint today, the aftermarket, it hovered all the way up close to like now $1.70. It previously was hovering at the $7 from $1. And I do feel like the bull run can definitely come very soon because we've been long overdue with the share price hovering up with iBio. And I do feel like the reverse trend is taking place and it has partnership with ATP Therapeutics where iBio is a contract manufacturer for the developer in Belgium. And that's very good news because that just guarantees positive return on cash flow to support its iBio 201, which is the subunit lichen protein intended for the COVID-19. And the benefit of this company is that it can scale up by the billions because of its low cost manufacturing expense with leveraging fast farm technology. So let's not lose sight of what iBio can do for you because I do feel like the bull run can come very soon where it can gain by like threefold, fourfold, fivefold, or even more. So let's not lose sight of iBio. Next ticker I wanted to pivot over to is Sorrento Therapeutics by the ticker SRNE. This is a San Diego based company where they're focusing on diagnostics, antiviral treatments, cocktails, as well as even developing vaccines led by Henry G, the CEO. What's so unique is that this company received approval from CLIA for clinical sample testing for diagnostics, and that's one positive sign. And also, its STI 2020 data will be presented to showcase how it can bind against the SARS-CoV-2 mutated spike protein that's why Sorrento Therapeutics is growing at this time from its share price and we know that Kobe sticks will likely receive emergency use authorization in the United States as well as in Mexico very soon as well as news on the Kobe track for screening and that can come out very soon around the variant strain so to me I feel like Sorrento Therapeutics can run all the way up to like $20 sometime in Q1 of 2021 so let's not lose sight of what this company can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to pivot over to is Enovio Pharmaceuticals, right? Although this company's share price was previously hovering at the $35 about six, seven months ago, it's now at the single digit share price. From a share price standpoint, I feel like this is a definite value add investment at this time because what goes down must come up given the fact that this company has 15 immune therapy DNA vaccines intended for various diseases. Its main focal point right now is the INO 4800 where it submitted its regulatory submission to the 
Health Authority, FDA, as a combination system leveraging the Selectra device as a medical device and its vaccine INO 4800 as a biologics. So it's a little bit more complicated. However, we know that the Department of Defense has partnered up with Inovio Pharmaceuticals because why? They know that this product will definitely work in the long run. And the fact that it has recently paired up with AstraZeneca with partnership from DOD as well as DARPA, that just tells you that there will be more products coming out in preclinical trials using its proprietary DMAP technology. But from a share price standpoint, I do feel like in 2021, it will reach its prior resistance back up into the 30 to 40 share price range. My exit strategy is around 80 to 100, so I'm playing the set it and forget it approach at this time. Next up, I wanted to share with you is an exciting ticker, Sky Bioscience, by the ticker SKYE. Now, what is so unique about Sky Bioscience? Well, this last Tuesday, the company actually rebranded itself from Emerald Bioscience. EMBI, a biotechnology company based out in San Diego, and rebranded it to Sky Bioscience, led by a, a new CEO in place since S September of 2020, Puneet Dillon, where he's focusing on driving the team to get its drug product intended to be used on glaucoma patients to reduce intraocular pressure, which is the root cause for glaucoma, as well as potentially demonstrating neuroprotection. We know glaucoma patients, about one third of patients have normal IOP. So if and when this company can demonstrate that its drug product can prove to show neuroprotection, that's gonna be a disruptive game changer in a new billion dollar sector because there's no product right now with the traditional drugs for glaucoma that have a branding for neuroprotection. So that's why Sky Bioscience is competing against the large scale pharma companies such as Pfizer, Merck, Bosch and Lom in the ocular sector. So let's not lose sight of what Sky Bioscience can do because currently at the share price at nine cents, this can definitely bull run up to the whole dollar share price value. Then the next ticker I wanted to share with you is Blue Sphere Corporation by the ticker BLSP. Now, in fact, January 14th, the share price was at the low, not even close to a cent, and it reached up 450% on January 19th. And the last two days, it's been regressing down. However, I feel like if you're a true believer in just renewable energy, then this is a value add play because in the long run, the share price can grow. We know that long ago about five years ago the share price was about ten dollars about four or five years ago so can you imagine how much proceeds you'd gain if you go long term and it goes to like the whole dollar value now to me i feel like the 10 cents can come very soon by q1 of 2021 so let's not lose sight of what blue sphere corporation is doing and they're also working with duke energy where the converted energy is being sold right now to that company and operations is underway in Virginia and Netherlands. And BLSP is also partnered with National Grid Renewables, which has wind and solar grids in Massachusetts and Minnesota. And I'm bullish that the 10 cents will come in the first half of 2021. So let's not lose sight of what BLSP can do for you, as well as the significant high volume trading each day up in the billions right now. So I wanted to pivot over next to a similar related company, and that is Ascent Solar Technologies, ASTI. Now we're looking at a six month trend chart here. Yesterday, the share price had gained by about 40%, and this is a solar based company out in Colorado where they're providing outdoor solar charges such as the XD12, XD48 for individual soldier and platoon power needs. So this company right now is selling its product uh, through distributors, value-added resellers, and e-commerce companies. So there's an increased demand in companies that's focused on solar energy at this time so from a share price standpoint it can definitely reach its prior resistance back when it was in 2016 it was up in the thousand dollars range and of course we may see that there were some reverse stock splits but this is good news here right because now there's more volume growing right here and each day we're seeing about 
half a billion volume traded with this ticker. So if you go long term, you can definitely gain on positive proceeds. So let's not lose sight of what ASTI can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is Bantech by the ticker BANT. Now this is a company that's focused more along the lines in the drone sector space. And we know that this is the name of the game right now and not so much with airplanes, the old traditional way of flying things. But now even Bantex Drone USA receives purchase orders to supply Atlantic City's fire and emergency management department. So that's a good sign knowing that there's partnership already with Atlantic City with its technology it's developing. And from a share price standpoint, it hovered up by 30 cents. But to me, I feel like it can definitely get up to the 10 cents by Q1 of 2021. And that's by about like a four to five fold increase from your initial investment now. So the bull runs can come for BANT. So let's not lose sight of what they can do for you. Next ticker I wanted to share with you is Zomedica by the ticker ZOM. Previously, back in November, the share price was hovering at the low seven cents, and it's great to see that it's bull run all the way up to like one dollar and thirty cents. However, it's now regressing back to the threshold at the resistance of one dollar. That's good news, where it's able to maintain the share price. What we know is, come March, its true form of product line will be released a product intended to be used to evaluate thyroid problems in dogs and animals and this is a game changer because in the veterinarian space there aren't too many competitors you're working with so that's why if its diagnostic product can demonstrate that it delivers high accuracy testing with minimal false negative and false positive results then this will be a game changer and there's an increased demand for these products because most animals are at home right now dealing with diseases and this will alleviate the the guessing game for veterinarians trying to understand what's the problem with animals so let's not lose sight of what zo medica can do for you because i feel like it can definitely get up to the three to ten dollar share price range come march of 2021 next ticker i wanted to share with you is riot blockchain by the ticker riot i firmly believe that in the the year 2021 the share price can reach up to the $50 range and while Bitcoin price is going down we shall see a correlation of Riot blockchain going down as well however from a share price standpoint you can definitely consider monitoring and let's say if it continues to drop then you can dollar cost down if you are an existing investor or let's say you're a new investor getting in now buying low and selling high later is a great opportunity I mean buying low at like five dollars back in November would be great however now we know that Bitcoin has gained so much recognition and respect with its recognition with PayPal being established as a partnership where you can use digital currency and now with just the COVID-19 impact seems as though digital currency is the name of the game and that's why there will be an increased demand with Riot blockchain for mining bitcoins with this technology so let's not exclude what riot blockchain can do for you because a lot of people are selling now but let's say if you were to buy at a much lower price than where it was previously hovering at 29 30 dollars then you're getting it at like 40 percent off basically so just wanted to point that out there now from a long-term perspective it can definitely add value because as what i mentioned it can reach up to the 50 dollars share price range next ticker i wanted to share with you is sundial growers by the ticker sndl now as you can see we see just a nice stair climber right here back in november 20 it was at the 16 cents reached up to 43 cents got a resistance at 26 cents a new support at 80 cents got a baseline at 43 percent and now it's hovering at a plateau of 66 66 cents i feel like it can run up to the one dollar plus share price range come q1 of 2021 and they have a large number of employees at this company as well you know having about 868 employees in canada and what we know is that they do distribute plants and herbs to the united kingdom and that just tells you that there's going to be an increased demand with how politics are changing as well and eventually it can tap into the united states market as well similar to like afria but from a value investment standpoint the share price is very low at this time so that's why i like this opportunity even just looking at the performance outlook from a short mid and long-term perspective 
Next up I wanted to share with you is Quantum Computing by the ticker QUBT. This is a company that's focused on developing artificial intelligence and ma maximizing quantum computing. It has a proprietary software called Mukai where it's trying to develop softwares to improve the efficiency and effectiveness in businesses in terms of trying to solve problems as well as even in the financial market for predictive analysis and what we know is that the CEO had previously uplisted the company from OTC to NASDAQ and now we're awaiting a response that happened about three weeks ago and what we know is it takes about four to six weeks response time to see whether that uplisting does take place so it's coming very soon with the news and previously this ticker was hovering at like the low fives and it bull run all the way up to $25 and it now is regressed down to $9.70. I feel like it's a value add play before the next bull run back up to the double digit share price range. So that's why this ticker can be a value add if you're planning on holding it long term. What we know is artificial intelligence, quantum computing is being supported by the government and there's discussions about injecting so much money into the quantum computing space to advance the technology at least in the United States so let's not lose sight of what quantum computing can do for you. The last ticker I wanted to share with you is in the biotech sector and that's bio nano genomics by the ticker BNGO and the current share price today after the after hours is about eight dollars and forty cents so back in December it was hovering at the 55 cents and now it's bull run all the way up to eight dollars range and from a long-term perspective it can definitely reach up to the fifteen dollars at one point in 2021 because genomics is really the name of the game right now and with its advanced technology supporting leukemia I feel like not much companies have the type of technology and the quality that bio nano genomics is providing right now and that's why I feel like this San Diego based company can add so much value to your investment portfolio so that's why it's a value add play uh, but just be careful because it's it's gone up quite a lot already but let's say if you're trying to hold long term then there's a high probability that you can gain on significant positive proceeds with BNGO so let's not lose sight of this genomic based company in terms of what it can do for you so overall I hope that this video added value in the sense that I just wanted to share with you value add plays for the year 2021 whether you are a short-term swing or a long-term investor you can apply these company tickers to your style and I do have a link down below for Webull let's say if you don't have a trading account and you want to establish one to start your career in finance and investing you can potentially sign up and get four free stocks with Webull. I like that account because it gives you real-time data as well as providing news. And I've also just opened a online merchandise. All I see is W branding. So let's say if you are an authentic supporter, please consider helping out by just checking out my online merchandise and seeing if there's any interest for you. And you know, there's there's different clothing, there's even mugs, phone cases that you can consider getting. But it's really um, to add value to my channel as well as to support growing it as well. So overall, I hope that you enjoyed this content and I'd love to answer any questions or comments that you have. So please feel free to leave it down below and please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more related content. Thank you so much for watching another episode here at All I See Is Debbie.